What's up guys, my name is Chris Fabregas. I'm a photographer in Seattle, Washington. Want to see how I package my fine art prints? Then watch episode number two of the CFAB Minute. All right guys, before we talk about packaging, I wanted to touch a little bit on shipping. Now being from the United States, there's four services that I use. The United States Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, and DHL. They all have their pros and cons. So the United States Postal Service is by far the cheapest, but they don't really update the shipment process. So for example, I have a lot of customers calling asking where their package is because it's not updated in the system. UPS is by far my favorite. They always update their services. The customer knows exactly where their package is along the way, but they're more expensive. So uh, you get a price accordingly. FedEx is exactly the same. They do a great job of tracking the customer's packages. They're also more expensive. Now DHL, I strictly use for international shipping. Um, it's a little more costly, but I can get a package from Seattle to the UK in three days. So when a customer in, uh, you know, in London wants a picture in three days for an anniversary, I always go to DHL because I know they can get it done. And uh, there's also no, uh, most of the time there's no import fees and custom fees. You have to watch out for imports and custom fees with a lot of the other shipping services. Um, as the customs will hold your package in that particular country. For example, if you're shipping to Germany, they will hold your package until the customer pays an import fee. All right, guys, let's talk packaging. Now there's tons of different ways you can package your products. This just happens to be what works best for me and fits my price point. So hopefully you guys find it helpful and you can use it for your company. All right, so I sell four different kinds of prints. I have posters, fine art inkjet prints, canvas, and Chromolux Metal. I make sure to include a sticker with my logo on the outside of every package. That way you never know who might see it. Maybe the postman or the next door neighbor. Guys, I also make sure to include a handwritten note in every single order. I believe whether it's the first or the hundredth order, everyone deserves a note, especially if they're buying your artwork. So I have a place for my note, my name, my logo. On the back side is my mission statement. All right guys, let's start small and go big. My first item is this 12 by 36 panoramic poster of downtown Seattle. Now I usually try to mail my items flat, but in this case, I use a poster tube. It's three by 18, you can get them at Uline. There's a lot of different colors, but I prefer white. I always make sure to ship my prints in acid-free tissue paper or these clear poly bags. Once you get your print in the bag, you're ready to roll it up and then include the thank you note and packaging slip. Once that's all done, I put a piece of tissue paper in the tube, put in the print, then another piece of tissue paper, and then I put the cap on. You want to put tape across the top and you also want to put tape around the side and you're all set. Let's talk inkjet prints. These are by far my best seller. Here we have a 12 by 18 picture of Yosemite and I always mail these flat. Now there's tons of different ways you can do it. I've used falcon board, cardboard, book envelopes, but most recently I've used plywood. Now this is a quarter sheet of plywood and uh, I cut it so it's two inches bigger than the print. I want to make sure that the corners don't get damaged and the print sits right in the center. This is what the inside of the packaging looks like. So I have my handwritten thank you note, packaging slip, my sticker with my logo on it holding everything together, and then I have a small amount of blue painter's tape in every corner. Once I've done that, I put tape around the whole package using a tape gun. I then make sure to put my logo on the top corner. This is where the address label would go. And I always make sure to include a fragile glass sticker. That way, hopefully the shipping companies take a little bit extra care of it. All right guys, so here's how I package my medium sized canvas and metal prints. On the front of every print, I have a quarter inch piece of plywood so it can't get damaged in shipping. I always wrap it up in craft paper. It's just a little extra durable and keeps your prints safe. Now I wouldn't store my print in craft paper, but it's perfect for shipping. You can also use acid-free tissue paper. I think that looks great as well. You wanna leave about two to three inches all the way around the print. That way it's the corners and the sides stay safe in shipping. Once the print's in the box, I put my logo on it, a fragile glass sticker, and I wrap it up with a tape gun. All right guys, last but not least, the wood crate. This thing is five feet long and perfect for my 20 by 60 panoramic prints. If someone's ordering your top quality product, you wanna make sure it arrives safely. So I have quarter inch plywood on each side along with a wood frame. Just like any other print that I ship, I wanna make sure it's centered inside the box so there's about three inches on each side so the corners and sides don't get damaged. Just like my medium sized prints, I always make sure to wrap my large prints in craft paper. 
Once my print is all wrapped up, I use shrink wrap and I wrap it to the center of the plywood so it doesn't move around in shipping. Then I make sure to include my packaging slip and my handwritten note. I put three quarter inch screws all around the edge so the customer can easily unscrew it with the screwdriver or screw gun when they receive the package. Now I know this package costs a lot to build and ship, so you have to make sure to price that in with your print. All right, that's it. That's how I package all my prints. Now I have one more piece of information. I'm gonna tell you where I get all my supplies. But first, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell. I really appreciate the support. It would mean a lot. So thank you guys very much. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is where I get all my supplies. Now I have no affiliation with any of these companies. A lot of people have helped me out through the years and I wanted to help you guys out too. So I get my mailing tubes, my cardboard, my craft paper, and uh, my Saran Wrap from Uline. They're a great company, they have tons of products, and uh, I've been working with them for years, so um, check them out. I also get my clear bags from clearbags.com. I actually called them up, and they wanted to give you all a 5% discount, so I'll put the code right there, save 5% on your next order. Also a very great company. I get all my wood from Home Depot, or the local hardware store, and what's cool is they'll do a couple free cuts for you, so make sure to ask them. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you on the next one.